made aware by Kieran O'Brien, who's the Labor candidate for Wallandilly, and others, that Mike Baird is actually coming to this area to speak soon. And I saw a sign the other day that said, get out of bed with big coal and gas, and Baird was spelt B-A-I-R-D. And I think there's going to be people already planning, but he's speaking at the West's Leagues Club in Lumia on the 6th of March, and I think all of us should be there um, to let him know that we're not happy with his support for coal. We're not happy with his support for gas. And I, I, I thank Kieran for coming, and I might just give him, a, if people can stick around, just a couple of minutes to get up and um, have his say just about uh, what he thinks about coal and gas in this area. So please give a round of applause to Kieran O'Brien from Wallandilly Shire, the candidate for the Labor Party. Look, thank you and good morning everyone. Uh, I'll start by paying my respects to the Dharawal people whose land on which we meet uh, and pay my respects to the Elders both past and present. Uh, I think the most important fact for me today being here is uh, it really is about bipartisanship and it's, it's not about the two big parties. Uh, it's a, a privilege to be here with Patrick, the candidate for the Greens, to fight for something that I believe in as well. Uh, I have the pleasure of living in the Southern Highlands. Uh, I've seen the, the activity of Hume Coal. I've seen what they're trying to do to our land down there. Uh, and I'll see, I can see what they're trying to do to, to the Wallandilly Shire as well. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is not just an issue that transcends politics, but it really does involve uh, the future of people. I'm a young man, I'm in my 30s, I have a young family, uh, and I'm passionate about the fact that we can't allow longbore mining to uh, not just poison our water supplies, but also impact on the structural integrity of our dams, our catchments and our waterways uh, in a way that will affect not just Sydney water, it's only 10%, it affects Camden, Campbelltown, Wallandilly, other areas and tributaries that it does flow into. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, that isn't, isn't the right way to go and it shouldn't be allowed to happen irrespective of, of party stance. Uh, come the next few weeks and even beyond the election, whether I'm elected or not, uh, I'm happy to say that, that I will fight for this issue, not just for, for this area, but for my area as well. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I am studying medicine. I'm interested in health. Uh, particularly interested in public health and epidemiology and I think that there's a, a very big correlation between uh, heavy metals and gases and different runoffs into our water supplies and, and certain illnesses and prevalences that are coming out uh, and I think it's a very important issue and we should all, I'm very uh, very pleased to see so many people here taking that to task and, and really standing up for, for the future of the area, uh, not just for, for this small catchment that the, the four dams feed uh, but for the state as a whole where we're not big on water, we don't have a great deal as a nation and it's something we should really protect uh, and going forward it's not something we can create from nothing. So I, uh, I'm very pleased to be here, I'm glad that uh, I thank Julie for inviting me along uh, and it is an opportunity for all the candidates and I'm happy to stand with Patrick and fight for this one. Uh, it's an opportunity for all of us to fight for the future of not just this area but coal seam gas mining and long oil mining and open cut mining all across the, the country to ensure that we do have a future not just for ourselves but for our children. So thank you very much and I'll, uh, I look forward to having a chat with people afterwards.